This is ABC 7 News. Think you always eat right? You may want to think again because of the foods people think are healthy really aren't. It is National Nutrition Month, and that means it is time to start thinking about what you're eating. Nutritionist Pamela Riggs with Marin General Hospital joining us now with a look at how to get on track. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, I see you have a range of products right now. Let's start off with what are some of the misconceptions when it comes to eating healthy? Yeah, you know, it is National Nutrition Month, and so what we really want to do is to advise people to be um, great consumers and read their food labels, and I think some of the misconceptions are some of the claims. You know, you go into the market and there are so many different claims, you know, made with seven grains, uh, whole grains. Uh, the ketogenic diet is really popular right now, so ghee is popular. And um, so I think uh, it really is about, you know, reading food labels. Um, for example, this, you would think, multi-grain, that's got to be good for me. Um, but when it look, you really look at the label, um, just because something says it's multi-grain, does it mean that it's high in fiber? Uh, and this particular product, um, you know, again, one gram of fiber. And if you look at the number one ingredient in the ingredient deck, it's enriched uh, wheat flour. So it's not really 100% no. whole grain. <laughs> my heart a little bit. It's so easy to snack yeah. on those. Yeah, so you want to look for 100% whole grain ah. on your food labels. Okay, let's move on also to uh, some of these other products as well, because I think the packaging always makes you feel like, oh, this is good for me. A lot of the green makes you feel, you know, eco-conscious yeah. and healthy. I mean, take a look at, and I'm not picking on any particular brand because there's many of them, but these, you know, pre-made smoothies, juices that you can buy now. Um, this is really kind of a glorified apple juice, but it certainly looks like there's blueberries and bananas, and yes, there's a small percentage in there, but when, again, you look at the food um, label, it's a juice from like three and a half apples. Um, and again, you get a ton of natural sugar, but nonetheless, all the fiber that's in your whole grain fruits and vegetables, uh, you're missing out on because it's been juiced. Oh, I always wonder about that. How much sugar should we be consuming when it comes to even natural sugar like this? Yeah. I mean, orange juice is one of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, the the recommendations for sugar intake it depends on who you ask, but the dietary guidelines suggest that we shouldn't be getting more than 10% of our calories from added sugars. Um, and that's about 12 teaspoons a day. Um, the American Heart Association really recommends six teaspoons for women, nine for men. And some of this type of foods that you might be eating, you're already getting your daily amount in, in one particular food. Fruited yogurt, this has added sugar to it. Um, about, I think it's got about four to five teaspoons of sugar alone in your one yogurt. Yes. Oh, I should have a, a cupcake instead. No, no, just kidding, just no. kidding. Uh, you, real quickly, let's talk about this ghee here because uh, you mentioned keto. It's so popular. Yes. It seems to be the it diet now. Why is this problematic for some people? Well, the ketogenic diet, um, paleo, you know, the emphasis on fat intake um, to help burn body fat and supposed to be, you know, kind of the latest, greatest in weight loss. The science is not quite there yet. Um, but clarif uh, ghee is actually just clarified butter. And when they make this, they remove and the milk solids in the water and really concentrate the dairy fat. So for the same amount of butter, so a tablespoon of butter would be 100 calories, this is going to be 100 and maybe 40 calories. Uh -huh. And you have more saturated fat because it's concentrated the dairy fat. All right, nutritionist Pamela Riggs with Marin General Hospital. Thanks so much. Lots of great information there. Thank you for oh. having me. Appreciate it.